Shen Cleaners sits in the heights of Little Rock right here behind me. It's considered a little hidden gem to this neighborhood, but now it's gaining national attention. Barstool? Barstool <laughs> The Barstool Fund I told you about. This is Shen Cleaner's owner, Sonny Shen. You might get a call. He's about to find out that his business is becoming fully funded through Barstool Sports' mission to keep small businesses alive through the pandemic. So we get to be a part of the fund. <gasps> that is so fantastic. Don't cry. Love you. <laughs> Till Logan, thank you so much. His tears say it all as the weight and fear of the pandemic seemed to subside. The mastermind behind the idea, Barstool Sports founder David Portnoy, expressed his disappointment in the government on social media for not doing enough for small businesses. New York City just shut down indoor dining. It's like, how do you expect these people to survive? How are restaurants going to survive? They're already on their last legs and you're pulling the plug on them. And nobody seems to care in the government. Oh my God, I did not expect this call today. Barstool has raised over $18 million million dollars with donations coming from numerous celebrities and now more than 70 small businesses have been selected to get the money. My husband and I both we were just like oh my gosh this is really happening. Logan Cloaker is a family friend to the shifts and a former employee. She nominated the cleaners after hearing the dry cleaning world was hit hard early on in the pandemic. You know because of COVID no one's going to work so no one's bringing their clothes to be cleaned and it's they're losing a lot of customers because of it. Barstool's mission has gone viral. It continues to raise money and select more businesses to receive help. Cloaker encourages you to donate to the fund. She says every dime is worth it. And I just know that they can keep going and going and that's so many lives that will be changed just from those donations. In Little Rock, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News.